Hey everyone. So a few days ago, one of my friends who I was talking to, who's pretty new to crypto, actually had a pretty decent question about Aave, which I wanted to dive into today. So he was basically asking if I could deposit an asset into Aave, borrow an asset, and then deposit that back into Aave to earn yield on both assets, which I thought was a pretty good question. So first of all, just to clear up, if you do deposit an asset and then borrow an asset, you are still going to earn interest on your original deposit. Even if you take out your loan and move it to a different platform or a different blockchain, whatever, Aave is still going to remember that you've got your original deposit and you'll still be earning rewards basically every second. Now, if you're wondering why the APY is so high, that's just because I'm on the Coven Ethereum testnet. So unfortunately, these numbers aren't real. But going over to the Aave market, on Polygon, these numbers are real, and what I've done is actually put them on a handy dandy Excel sheet. So as you can see here, these numbers are a bit old, just by a few hours, but if you wanted this sheet, I'll provide it at another time if anyone asks. But basically, I've got all the assets up the top here. This is just of the Polygon market, so I've got the supply rate. This is what you'd be earning on your original asset, and this is the bonus Matic supplies in Matic tokens, and this is the actual total accounting for the original supply percent plus the Matic percent you get as well. And then below here, I've got the amount you'd actually be paying in interest if you took out a loan on one of these assets. But since Aave and Polygon actually have a partnership together to increase liquidity on the Polygon chain, Matic is actually throwing in a bonus of this percent here. So I ran the numbers and down here below, you can actually see the ones in red, you'd actually be paying interest just like a normal loan. But the ones in green are green because it's a negative interest, meaning the Matic bonus you'd be earning is actually more than you'd be paying for the original interest rate. So for an example, let's say we deposited Matic because that's got the best supply rate right now. So that'll be about 11%. And down the bottom here, I've got the supply rate and the interest rate you'd be paying, but it's a positive number. So you'd actually be getting 11% on USDT if you were to borrow it and deposit it back into Aave. So I'll take the Matic supply rate and I'll add the USDT total rate. And that gives me 22%. So that'll be 11%. So that means I'm borrowing USDT and earning 2.45% on the loan. And then I go deposit it back into Aave. That means I'm earning 8% and that's how I get that 11% there. So for an example, let's say I've got a whole lot of wrapped ETH or wrapped Bitcoin. I'll take the wrapped Bitcoin supply rate, which includes the Matic rewards and the regular Aave rewards. So once the numbers are in here and updated, I'd take a look through at the bottom to see which one is the best rate. Because if you're just looking at the supply rate, that's not taking into account the interest you're going to be paying below here. Because if I was to borrow Matic, yes, I'd be earning 11%, but I'd also be paying 3% back to Aave, which only gives a 7% in total rewards. So what I'd be best doing would be to borrow USDT tokens deposit it back into Aave. So I'll take the 11% as well. So the wrapped Bitcoin yield would be the 3.96% plus the USDT I borrow. And this is very important. You have to deposit it back into Aave. Otherwise, you're not going to get the rewards, the 11% and 3.96% on top. So if you don't feel like selling your assets just to get the best rates, what I'd do is keep your wrapped Bitcoin wrapped ETH, whatever you've got. If you've got some stable coins, deposit onto Aave, find the highest yield you'd be getting, borrow that one, and then deposit it back onto Aave. Now, unfortunately, if you do have USDT, you can't actually borrow against that, but you can borrow against the other stable coins. You can't just deposit USDT, then borrow USDT and deposit it again and keep going around in a circle. That doesn't actually work on the Polygon network, as far as I know, but it does work for all the other coins. And if you'd like this sheet, just leave a comment below or join the Discord server, as I'll probably post it sometime in the future. If you like that video, consider leaving a like. If you want to have a chat, why not join my Discord server below? Okay, thanks, bye.